saying the country can't wait any longer to address the climate crisis. President Biden today signed executive orders that prioritize climate change across all levels of government. Now, the Biden plan essentially offers a roadmap to transform the nation's fossil fuel powered economy into a clean burning one. But it comes with great political risk as oil and coal producing states face significant job losses. Kitu's Jay Cohn takes a closer look. Well, there's plenty of rhetoric to go around today. It seems like all sides on this issue are speaking with bullhorns. But through the fog, three major takeaways for the states of Montana and Wyoming. Fracking will not be banned. In fact, the president pledged millions of dollars to plug abandoned oil and gas wells across the country. The state of North Dakota has been using COVID relief dollars to do just that. And now it looks like the effort might be replicated across the nation to the tune of thousands of jobs. The president's order halting all new oil and gas leases will not end fossil fuel extraction as we know it. The industry has already accumulated thousands of leases that remain undeveloped. Those leases are not affected by the moratorium. Here in Montana, 67% of the acreage leased by the BLM has yet to be developed. And the president vowed to help coal miners and coal communities during this time of transition away from fossil fuels, saying, quote, we will stand by those workers as he pledged federal help to retrain miners and rebuild coal-based communities. Many of these same issues were front and center this morning as Energy Secretary nominee Jennifer Granholm was before the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee in her confirmation hearing. Both Senators John Barrasso of Wyoming and Steve Daines of Montana pressed Granholm about the potential job losses as a result of the moratorium. And Senator Daines asked specifically that the coal strip power complex be considered by the Department of Energy as a potential test site for carbon capture technology. In Billings, I'm Jay Cohn reporting for MTN News. Thanks, Jay. Oil and gas producers strongly oppose Biden's moratorium and are expected to challenge the order in court. Montana Senator Daines is already vowing to introduce legislation to reverse the moratorium. As for Energy Secretary nominee Jennifer Granholm, her confirmation is expected to come up for a vote in the Senate within a week.